Hello guys and welcome to my new video. This is something that I've uh, been asked a lot to do a UI video uh, for my Wii course. Tell me when, uh, tell me when profiles and things like that. So I decided after getting the two K subscribers to actually finally do it. So here we are. And um, so there's going to be links in the description, basically linking to your specific paste bin files because most of the Wii course and tell me when. Um, Tell me when auras have been exported there so you can you just have to copy it and paste it into the corresponding add-ons which will show you how to do it first of all i use lvi and i've exported my lvi profile but i'm going to be covering that a bit later on so you don't so this part is just basically going to cover my tell me when and my uh, we chorus basically the green bar above my in the middle of my screen which covers all the rest of jude cooldowns so you don't need to have LVI, you don't need to have a specific add-on configuration. You, you can just have a default Blizzard UI as you can see here right now. But you will need to have the following add-ons. So you need to enable, of course, to use um, Tell Me When. Because Tell Me When is basically the equivalent of Weak Chorus. I use Weak Chorus and Tell Me When because I find it easier. So you need to have tell me when all the links are going to be in the description so you can check them out down there you're going to need tell me when you're going to need omni cc and omni cc config omni cc is just basically adds a cooldown cooldown numbers to everything you do so if you click like a fluorescence it can add like well if you click a scenario words it adds 28 seconds left for it so that's what basically omni cc does so this adds it adds cooldown to everything including grid profiles and things like that and I have a grid 2 video as well which is going to be linked in the description so you need to like I said you need to have tell me when you need to have omni cc and you need to have mask what what is mask mask is basically an add-on that lets you skin of how everything looks because I don't like the blizzard default skin you actually have the option of using anything else and I use one specific skin that fits everything for what I'm about to show you so you can use anything you want, but I recommend using Dream Skin uh, because the sizes have basically been configured for it. And so the first thing you do, you go to TMW and open the Tell, Tell Me When profile. So this is what you're probably going to see when you install Tell Me When. You're probably not going to be seeing these because these are global variables that I've set up before, but you don't have to worry about this. You'll probably just see these four options. You just have to right click, and then at the bottom you see. And then at the bottom you see that there's an import and export uh, basically box. What you need to do is basically go to the paste bin that I uh, will, will have included. It'll say Matskills TV uh, TMW Resto Druid Bar. You just have to copy. You just have to copy all of that string. It's not going to make any sense, and just paste it here. And then click import export, and then go under the import tab and go to from string and then from string you'll see profile math skills uh, raven quest and then you can just say profile override uh, my name my, my name is test ui the character's name so you're probably going to see your your character's name you can copy it or override if you don't have any way to tell me when the profile uh, profiles that you set up previously you don't have to worry about the override if you do you probably will have to create a new profile but in this case, we just have to override, and this is probably going to work for 90, 95% of people out there. And that's it. And click OK. So now you actually get my tell me, tell me when profile. So the thing is that there's a few, uh, few things that are missing here. This is where I used to have my efflorescence cooldown, and also I used to have a light bloom cooldown here. Also, it actually looks perfect. The skin looks perfectly now because if you go to mask, so just type in forward slash mask, you can find it other ways as well. You go to mask, then you go to add ons, then you go, you can see global. Global, the skin applied is Blizzard, but you see here, tell me when is using dream profile. So, this is what is probably going to look for you when you, what it's going to look like when you actually set up tell me when from the start. It's going to look like this, but I don't like this. So and and if you don't like this as well, and if you want to look like uh, like my one, you just go back to mask add-ons. You go to tell me when, and you just change the skin from Blizzard to Dream, which is the one that I actually use, and that's it. 
And now you basically got to tell me when uh, Resto Druid banned. Now, what does he have? He has loads of different features. So first of all, it doesn't have my essence of Ganea. It's not showing up here because this is a 100 level character. So you will have this if you're 110. So I have all of these extra things that I'm actually not quite using. Like these things here are actually trinket procs. So if you right click and you can click into it and you can see the spell IDs. These are trinket procs uh, from the map. In, uh, also I have here another trinket procs and another different debuffs that you can change. These are not actually, some of them are enabled, some of them are not enabled. So actually if you get a new trinket or if you want to track something and if you like these positionings, you can just right click and add anything you want in this space, what to track. And acceleration is one of the, your spells and bills have a chance to grant, uh, hey, it's basically small buffs that I used before but I'm not using at the moment. But and all everything else you don't really have to worry about. So that's basically your tell me when profile. Now you want to, ins you want to install or you want to get the filler spaces here, the efflorescence. So what you need for this is weak auras. I actually don't have it enabled, but once you install weak auras, it'll probably be enabled at the very default. It'll be weak auras too. I'm, I enable all the options by default. I'm actually not sure if they're completely needed, needed but I just do it uh, for the sake of it. Uh, and now you can see that a fluorescence weak aura is there. Now this is because I already have it enabled, but for you to do it, you just go back to the paste bin that I'm going to show you. So just an example, uh, you will see something like this. You will see Maskless TV F uh, weak aura. You just copy all of, you just copy all of this. Control C, and then you just go back to your weak auras. You'll you'll be selecting Tab New, and then you go Import, and then you just Control V to paste it all. And then you can see that. It's going to be Wild Mushroom Icon, Wild Mushroom Low, okay, Wild Mushroom is supposed to be a fluorescence, but it is, it is quite old. Uh, and you just click Import, and that's it. And you do the same for Life Bloom, we call it, which all the descriptions are below, uh, guys, so there's no need to worry about that. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Uh, and you, you can see my Life Bloom, we call it, if I actually attack, you can see that the uh, Life Bloom is active because I don't have Life Bloom on any target. If I actually press Life Bloom, let me just get in combat again. If I press Life Room again, I can see there's 14 seconds. Again, I don't like the skin that's supplied by Blizzard. So again, you go back to Mask. You go back to Mask. Again, you go to Add-ons. And you can see right now here that there is Weak Auras. So instead of uh, Skin Blizzard, you just activate Dream. And you just click OK. And now you can see that my... A fluorescence weak aura is looking much nicer. It it has the same skin applied, uh, and that's my resto druid bar. Unfortunately, it is using tell me when and weak aura, so it's using two separate uh, cooldown tracking add-ons. But I found it to be the easiest to work with. So, um, this is this is how to set up the weak auras and the tell me when for my resto druid uh, cooldown tracker, basically. So this is the LVI part. So if you happen to use LVI, I have exported my LVI profile. Uh, so you can actually basically import it and have a similar look where the map is and cast bars and things like that. Um, so the first thing you actually need to do if, is to actually download LVI. So once you download LVI, you'll probably just have LVI and LVI config. I have all of these different plugins that you don't need or they're not completely necessary. So you just import LBI config and LBI uh, and just re uh, reload your game. Now there's probably going to be um, setup steps installed. I'm not sure if you actually really need to go through them. You can just skip the process for the time being. And then just go to uh, the paste bin, which I have. Yes, LBI hide. I don't need any of this. Um, so you just need to go to the paste bin again, which is called Math Skills LVI Profile Mad. Because I am mad. Uh, and then just you'll see right away that the skin, LVI skin is actually applied. It's not actually looking half bad. My weak core is a little bit off. Uh, you just go to LVI. But you press escape and then you get the options which you go to LVI. And then you go to profiles. 
There you can see share current profile, export profile, share profiles, and import profile. So we just click import profile and it just control V, copy and paste the, your, uh, the code that I provided in the paste bin. All the links are in the description, guys. No need to worry. You see profile is called mad. Uh, so let's just go to import now. The profile you tried to import already exists. Choose a new name or accept the overhead exists. So I'll just, you probably won't have this option because I probably have, uh, I, I already have this profile, so just, let's just say mad test and let's accept. And voila, boys, this is what uh, what my UI basically looks like. You can see here that there's in there's few uh, there's few there might be a few books about invalid uh, uh, tags here that you might have to get uh, specific plugins for it. But I'm going to actually look into it and see if I can actually do it. I'm probably also going to actually upload my whole UI where you can just um, copy and paste into your w WTF folder in your WoW location if people want to do that to get rid of any possible bugs that might occur. The problem with this is that I do not have cast bars enabled. That is because I don't use the default LUI UI cast bars. So you need to act if you I use a specific add-on called Quartz, uh, which enables your cast bars. If you, so, basically, if you can, you either have the option of uh, downloading Quartz add-on and setting up yourself, or just going back to LUI, uh, toggle anchors, and then you you'll be able to see player cast bar at the bottom here. You can actually move it away and stuff like that. You can move it where you want. So I'm just going to leave it to the bottom. You can also see target cast bars. I have those disabled as well. Uh, you can put them where you want. And then you can just go to action bars. Oh, sorry. It's not action bars actually. It's unit frames, player frame. So let's, let's just minimize this. You go to unit frames, player frame. And in the player frame, you go to you'll see option for health, for health, just don't select health, go to cast bar and then click enable. So now you should have a cast bar at the bottom. This is default LUI cast bar, uh, which is very good as well. I like, I mean, there's no, uh, there's no problem for actually using it, but this is how to add. So don't be concerned if the actual cast bar is not there. You just need to go and again, if you want to go enable cast bars for your targets, so you can go to target frame. And again, you'll see target frame and you see health. Just go to cast bar and enable. So now if you select a target and you cast something, you'll be able to see it. Now the problem is you'll probably have to resize it because I really didn't care about the cast bars that LUI was uh, providing. So I didn't care about resizing them. Uh, but resizing them, you need to go back to target frame, cast bars, and actually change the width of it uh, much smaller. So now you should be able to see the cast bars much smaller. And it's, and it's in the same location. So this is how actually to import the LVOI profile. Please uh, let me know if there's any bugs for this, and I'll try to have a look at it and uh, ways of fixing it. I will provide um, basically a Dropbox location of my whole UI. Unfortunately, it won't be. It'll be probably untested because I just don't have. I don't want to mess up my current profile that I have on my computer. And uh, basically, if you can use it and tell me what bugs are there, and maybe I'll have a look at it. But hopefully, uh, everything's gonna work. I know for definite that at least have UI works, the weak orders, and uh, and tell me when profiles. So. Thank you for watching this little guide and I hope you enjoy my user interface guys.